hope y'all yeah, hope you're doing well hope you're doing good first and foremost i want to thank you for coming to my channel to check out this video i really do appreciate it i appreciate you taking time out of your day just your time and you giving it to me any support that you give whether it's liking sharing subscribing just whatever i really truly do appreciate it thank you so much for your time before i get into the topic of this video i do want to say i'm extremely late to the party very very late to the party i just want to put that out there and say that before i get into it over the weekend i've discovered mcgee he's been out there for a while now he's been creating buzz for quite some time he's been doing music since 2018 if not earlier I discovered him over the weekend after hearing his song Lonely Fight and then I went into his album. This isn't a review or reaction because I'm late to the party. This is more of a reaction to people's reaction. So it's not a true reaction, but it's a reaction to the things that I'm seeing, the things that people are saying about him. Nowadays, I find myself more intrigued with rap and conversations around rap. So finding a alternative artist who has this much buzz and this much hype around him is quite the pleasant surprise the music does back it up i will say that the music backs it up i don't think i've ever seen or i'm not gonna say i don't think i've ever seen but it has been a long time since i've seen conversations around the artist like people are having around mcgee i haven't seen anything like it what i'm wondering is i wonder kind of how he feels I wonder if there's pressure for a young artist, because this guy's only like 26. Even though he's been making music for quite some time, he's only 26. If there's pressure with the comparisons that he's getting, with the pedestal that he's being put on. I don't know if this is just internet buzz, internet hype, or what, but I've seen so many people say his last album, I think it came out in February, Two Star and the Dream Police. It's album of the year. A lot of you have been saying it's like generational music. They haven't heard anything like it. This is like some of the best music they've ever heard. I saw a young lady on TikTok basically say his most recent single, the single that I heard that got me into him, The Lonely Fight, is one of the best things she's heard. People have described his sound as being relatable, sounding like something that you've heard before or a feeling that you've heard before. It very much reminds you of good times in the 80s or a soundtrack to the 80s or a soundtrack to life. That's what I feel like his music is. His music is a soundtrack to life. You relate to it. You relate to the feelings. You relate to the sound of it. You relate to the production of it. It's just something very relatable about it. So many reviews of his live show are saying it's the best thing that they've ever been to. I saw Tyler, the creator, was at one of his concerts. People are saying that McGee is your favorite artist, favorite artist. People love this kid. The buzz, the hype around him is just... It's fascinating to see. They're putting a lot of pressure on him. He probably deals with it so easily because he's just himself. And that's all he knows how to be. I don't know him, but that's just what I imagine. Can you imagine someone who's considered one of the greatest guitarists of all time, Eric Clapton, asking why you are not on the 250 greatest guitarist list of all time? You're only 26. Eric Clapton, who was number 35 on that list, I believe, and people were saying that he needs to be higher, was asking why McGee wasn't on that list. And not only that, in that same conversation, he compared McGee to Prince, who is also considered one of the greatest guitarists of all time by many people. You're getting comparisons to two people that are considered the greatest guitarists of all time. When I was listening to Two Star and the Dream Police, I heard John Frusciante. I believe that's how his name is pronounced. I apologize if it's not. I heard him. I heard Bon Iver. I just heard that sound with hinges of R&B. He's getting a lot of insane comparisons. I've seen him compared to the police. He's gotten comparison from Eric Clapton to Prince. Other people have compared him to Prince. He's gotten compared to the police. He's gotten compared to greatness. I even saw a post on threads where somebody said this kid sounds like Michael Jackson. The comparisons around this kid and about this kid are insane. He's been making music for a while, so I don't think he's just gonna fold under pressure. I think he'll find a way. I do wonder though, if the pressure will get to him for his next project. If the Lonely Fight is a representation of what's coming next for him, I think he'll be fine. Because that song is amazing. That song sticks to what he does so well. He gives you a certain feeling. Like so many people have said, that music is refreshing. It is relatable. It is a breath of fresh air. And that's why I think so many people like this kid. But I'm intrigued to see what he does next. I don't think he should do it, but I wouldn't be surprised if he does some soundtrack work. He's working with Justin Bieber from what a lot of people are saying. I am intrigued to see how this kid progresses, how people continue to react to him. Just what happens with him moving forward in his career. 
I just, it's been a long time since I've seen Buzz around an alternative artist. Me personally, I'm pretty sure it happens all the time. I haven't seen Buzz and Hyper on an alternative artist myself in a really long time. So it was really amazing to see. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to check out this video. What do you think about McGee? What do you think about being young and considered great, considered genius compared to other greats and geniuses, high level greats and geniuses? What do you think about that? Please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. I would really love to hear people's thoughts. Thank you so much. I hope you continue to be good. Hope you continue to be blessed.